Good morning, campers. Yay! Walmart tripped the light for me. I didn't have to wait very long. Yay, Walmart truck. lately, 
but I love this job. I really love this job. Because look where I am. Like there's something, there's something absolutely incredible about driving through Wyoming at sunset. And it's just not at all comparable to anywhere else. And it's just so, so great. I love this. I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> I'm getting paid for this. Can you believe that? I had a fantastic paycheck yesterday. Though, uh, thanks to the Labor Day holiday, it's not going to actually hit my bank account until Monday. <laughs> and the reason this paycheck was fantastic is because my, uh, my bills got kind of split between, or my, uh, my trips got kind of bunched up to where they all kind of went in at one time. We had one long trip end that didn't make it onto last week. So I, I got hardly any miles on my, I got like, it was like a little under a half paycheck for me normally for the week before. And uh, then the long trip that ended off the week got rolled on to the next week. And then we also completed two pretty good trips before the end of that week. So we got three trips, two of which were quite long. We had basically a 4,000 mile paycheck last week. Yesterday, I should say. Which is fantastic. Though, of course, uh, it's the first week of September, so all my bills have come out already. So I'm just like, ah, bank account's looking a little bare until this uh, until this particular paycheck gets to my bank account. But yeah, no, it's every now and then on this job. Well, actually, pretty often on this job, I get individual paychecks that are more money than I used to make in a month working retail and fast food. It's just astounding to me. It's astounding. I every, like, once every other month, I get a paycheck with a freaking comma in it, and I'm a company driver, and I'm getting a paycheck for a single week that has, like, a four-figure paycheck. That's incredible for me. That is absolutely incredible to me. I used to I used to make do on like eight hundred dollars a month total. <laughs> right, I guess we're going over here now. Yeah, no, it's it wasn't that long ago that I was I was surviving off of eight hundred dollars a month. And now I'm averaging like eight hundred dollars a week. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fantastic for uh, a company driver, particularly a rookie. Uh, though, our pay has not, certainly not kept up. We are losing speed. I just have to break, I try to go for 10th and just right back down to 9th. So our, our, uh, our pay has not quite kept up with the industry as a whole for company drivers. It's still really good for the training program and then a uh, brand new driver. And you get more than enough miles to make up for it, but you know, a lot of more experienced drivers expect a little bit higher pay per mile. But the company is doing fine as far as rates go for cargo. So I think I think we're going to wind up switching to uh, lease operations. I think I'm going to lease a truck from the company, so I start getting a percentage of the line haul rather than a. Uh, rather than a fixed per mile rate. It also gives us a little more um, a little more control over certain aspects, like where we wind up going. Specifically, it'll allow me to exclude the parts of the country I really despise, which is pretty much only one spot, and that's the uh, megalopolis that is Washington, D.C. to Boston, Massachusetts. But we can avoid that particular corridor entirely. It's the only condition I'm going to have, personally. But it also means that we get to have a little more... Uh, we get to determine, like, 
uh, lease operators are allowed to use Interstate 70 as much as they want. Um, as a company driver, I am straight up not allowed on I-70 west of Denver. Uh, except in very rare circumstances. I think Josh got to go down, got to go down that road for a delivery last, last week. This week? Last week. I don't know. All I know is I had to help him with routing at one point, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, but lease operators can use that road as much as they want because it's it's on them if they break down there and have to have to get the wrecker or service trucks to come out and visit them. Alright, so welcome back to Great Falls, Montana. This is my fourth or fifth time here. We've done at least three Sam's Club loads and a beer load. Maybe four Sam's Club loads. I'm not entirely sure. I think I might have been here once more than I'm thinking. But at least four times we've been to this city. So this is either our fifth or sixth visit. Not important. What is important is that means we have some familiarity with the city. So I know one route to our current customer, but that route last time we were here proved tricky uh, because it involves a very difficult right turn to get into the Sam's Club. But on our previous visit here, oh, okay, I guess we're getting stopped at the stoplight. Our previous visit here to the beer warehouse clued me in on a potential uh, alternate route to our Sam's Club customer. So we're going to try that today and see how that goes. Because if this works out, please stop, Maxwell. A little bit squealy. It's fine. Um, the only question mark in this is one leg between two truck routes that I know are truck routes. But I don't know that the leg between them is, which is literally the only part of it that's any question mark. But if it turns out there's a no truck sign on the bridge that is in question, we can continue on the route that we are going to be using and get to the other way in. But if I'm right, this will be better. Let's actually stay in 8th gear and 35. I have no reason to actually do 45 in this town. So the only thing that could really thwart us right now is a no truck sign between here and the bridge. Or a bridge that's 13-4. <laughs> okay. Uh, that complicates things. Now we're just going to use the newspaper to turn around. All good.
No, I'm not. I can't. You're not gonna stop in time. Things because I noticed last time I was here that if you do this little serpentine number, you can get right around to the back. and we're here so because it was Sunday um, we weren't able to drop and hook or at least not early we had to wait for their night crew to get in at 9 p.m. so it really didn't save us any time ran my clock out all good uh, we got to play the little yard dog because another Palmer driver was here uh, and I was at hours so I let him go ahead and do the first trailer swap because they've got to, they've got three docks here and they get two trailers per night which is that's just a person. They got three docks, they get two trailers per night. So when the two trucks come in for the for the next night, one has to dock and then take an empty and then the other person can dock in the spot that the empty was in. So I let the other Palmer driver go first because he still had hours, he could still get out of here and actually do some, some other work for tonight. I did not, so I let him go first. And uh, then his trailer, when he unhooked from it, he didn't realize it because uh, they had us go inside and check to make sure that they could get in and out of the trailers while we were still hooked to them. But then when he unhooked from his trailer, it pulled the trailer forward a few inches and then they couldn't get in and out of it anymore. So I had to hook up to his trailer after he left and push it back into the dock. <laughs> Luckily, I know how to avoid that because I've been, I've been here many times before. I know what to do to drop the trailers right in the dock. So I fixed it for them and uh, got my empty. And we are sitting here parked. We are at the Sam's Club still. I've got paperwork to do. Um, and uh, I also got pizza. It was free. <laughs> free pizza is the best pizza, as you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, we're stuck here for the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. My sleeper break just started, so I've got seven hours and 52 minutes uh, to sleep. And then we get rolling again tomorrow morning. So it'll be fun. Uh, it sounds like we might be doing another fire load tomorrow, so we'll see. Anyway, my name's Ellie O'Dare, AzerAngel17 on Twitch and Steam, Ellie O'Dare on Xbox Live and Twitters. Twitter is the best place to get a hold of me, uh, at Ellie O'Dare, no apostrophe in the username. So uh, drop in and say hi there. I'm there all the time, even on days where I might not be super active in the video uploading department. Uh, I still try and check Twitter at least twice, uh, once when I wake up, once before I go to bed, sort of thing. Uh, and usually on my 30. So I'm still on Twitter pretty regularly, even when I can't find the time to edit. So yeah, that's a good place to keep up with what's going on and see some preview pictures of the places we're going. Like the sunset from here is going up on Twitter, assuming I remember to post it because it was an awesome sunset, but I'm sleeping here. So I don't want to post the picture until I'm leaving because <laughs> it's a recognizable parking lot for uh, at least for other Palmer drivers and, as well as anybody who lives in Great Falls, obviously. And this is one of the few spots in Great Falls that allows overnight truck parking. I mean, probably not the few spots, but one of the reliable spots for overnight truck parking. So a lot of drivers probably recognize it. Uh, and, you know, I'm paranoid. Thank you guys so much for watching.
I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Why well, am I at an angle? I don't know why I'm sitting at an angle. I'm just, I'm just, I'm this, this close to sleeping already. I'm this close. We're there. <sighs>